Hi, this is Saul Overman with Saul Overman Survival. We're going to do our first gun video, and this is going to be on a weapon that's considered by many experts to be really the premium or most desirable gun as a strictly as a forging weapon. Uh, this is a Savage Model 24. It's a P series. Um, we'll go ahead and show you. Go ahead and get it assembled. Show you. Just wanted to show you it disassembled in one of these cases how uh, portable it is. And we'll go ahead and get it assembled, and we'll do. Uh, do a couple shots with it. We got a target set up. Let's see what we can do with it. This case is a little bit long for this barrel, but it still works fine. Now, for those not familiar with the Savage Model 24 series, they are over/under shotgun rifle combinations with uh, shotgun barrel on bottom, rifle barrel on the top. does go together here, right? Stand up. There we go. Usually it goes better together a little easier than that. There it is. Assembled. 20 gauge, this one's 20 gauge shotgun over 22 Magnum. Uh, they come in a variety of calibers. Uh, they're often encountered with 22 regular long rifle on top and 410 on the bottom. Uh, more rarely, they're encountered with 357 on top, 12 gauge on bottom, and also in 223 on top and 12 gauge on the bottom. Um, I consider this really one of the more desirable combinations for strictly for forging. I probably would prefer. 22 long rifle on the top just because the ammo is a little bit more easily available. Um, however, the extra power from the 22 Magnum is certainly nice to have. Um, 20 gauge on the bottom is a good choice. Uh, so with this gun, this combination really for small game and it will also take large game. So you really have uh, quite a bit of versatility and capability to take pretty much anything that one would encounter in the woods that you, know, you might want to eat. So we'll go ahead and do a couple shots here. I'm going to do three shots. With the rifle barrel and 22, we've got some Winchester 22 Magnums. Then I'll fire, I've got a um, round of Winchester 6, low brass 6 shot, and a round of buckshot. We'll go ahead and fire at our target. Hey. One thing I wanted to show, I wanted to check before I fired, the selector for the barrels is on top on this model. They are different on some of the different models of the uh, model 24. This is on top. When the lever is forward, there's a little arrow that points to the bottom barrel. It will fire the shotgun. With the lever back, the firing pin raises to the top and it will fire the um, the upper barrel with the rifle. Let me put my ear, ear protection on because 22 mag is actually pretty loud. All right, here we go. Doesn't have an ejector. It has a little tiny extractor that will pop the shell out a little bit, but it won't. Uh, it won't freely uh, eject it. That one I think is going to be a little bit of a flyer. I haven't shot this gun in quite a while. I'm not 100% sure that the uh, sights are still regulated. Probably are though. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do our number six on the 20 gauge barrel. Put the lever down. And we're going to do our buckshot. All right, let's go take a look and see how we did. Oh, 
a little hard to tell which ones were the buckshot, which ones are the 22s. These look like the 322 holes, I'm going to guess. Although, I think, no, I think this one, that one, that one are the 22 mag holes. I knew I had a couple flyers in there. I was brushing the last couple shots. I think that was the first one. Pretty good pattern with the, uh, the number six. Uh, I found that shotgun does throw a pretty good pattern with sixes and eights. Um, buckshot, a little broken up, still not too bad. Definitely, uh, this was 15 yards, so that's definitely tight enough uh, to put those pellets in the, you know, in the vitals of a deer. It would have one, two, three, four, five, six of them hitting the vitals of a deer. That certainly would bring down any, you know, large, any medium, small sized deer. So that's what we got with the Savage Model 24P. Thanks for watching. It's all over, man. Y'all have a great day.